During the second year of high school, Takaki Hatsu transferred to a school in a remote countryside. Ever since she transferred here, I've never seen her mingle with others. Oh, oops. I'm sorry for the late introduction. My name is Ijima Hato. Ijima. Hey, Ijima, are you listening? Hey, Popo, you're being called. Everyone around me calls me Popo. I don't even need to explain why, do I? I'm a normal teenage guy you see every day. I dyed my hair when I entered high school, and I joined the light music club. Right now, I'm kind of interested in the girl, Takaki Hatsu. Hey, I said hey, Popo. Usually she doesn't talk to anyone at school. She goes home right away as soon as school ends. She sits out during P.E. too. There were rumors that she has health problems, but no one knows the truth. Ijima! I started to take an interest in her. Ow! As more mysteries pile up around her. During the middle of July, we crossed paths. Hey, Sensei. I'm skipping class, so please let me sleep on the bed. Ah! I'm sorry! I didn't do it on purpose! I promise! I didn't see anything! I... Saw everything. Instead of her half-naked figure, there was something else that caught my eye. Do you know what Kokuhaku disease is? I've heard of it before. A few years back, a celebrity died because of it. And now it's pretty well known. Yeah, it's that. Officially, a weak heart muscle makes the heartbeat irregular. It's in the same category as cardiomyopathy. It's a strange disease that happens to one in a million people. Have you heard of this? The amount of times a person's heart beats in their lifetime is decided when they're born. But a person who has this illness has less heartbeats than everyone else. Point this at my chest. That is the amount of heartbeats that I have left. If you have the personal app and your ID, you can check your own heart. There's about 220 million beats left. Uh, you might think there's a lot left, but in six to seven years, my heart will stop beating. This pacemaker on my chest helps me regulate my heart rate and tells me how many beats I have remaining. There are more treatment options, but they're expensive. If my heart rate is elevated, my lifespan will shorten. That's why I'm prohibited from doing strenuous exercise. When I recall listening to this heavy conversation, I can remember that I thought to myself, ah, oh, <laughs> she sure can talk. So that's why you skip PE. Why did you decide to talk to me? I thought that if you knew about my condition, you'd choose to keep it a secret rather than tell others about me. At my previous school, it was uncomfortable because of the rumors about me. From the way you look, I wouldn't think that you're a bad person who'd spread rumors. You, uh, had it rough, huh? Not really. Other than my short lifespan, everything is normal. But, in truth, I want to get along with everyone else. I want to have fun like them. If things keep going on like this, I would prefer to live my life out with every second that I have left. But I'm afraid to do it, since it would shorten my lifespan. She looks so sad as she told me about it. It's been a while since I spoke with someone, so I may have gone a bit overboard. Just forget about it. Without thinking, I... Ijimakun, please keep this a secret. T Takaki san! Were all those your true feelings? If that's true. I'll help you! I'll help you enjoy life to the fullest and make your heart beat like crazy! Huh? It's the sea! Hey, hey, Ijima-kun, take a look! The sea is so huge! Who would have thought it was this big? Yeah? Is this your first time to the beach, Takaki-san? Yeah! Uh, my heart is beating so fast! Hey, what do we usually do once we come to the beach? 
Dig for seashells? <laughs> You're going all out, aren't you, Takaki-san? Who would have thought I'd get to see her react like that? Um, are you really okay with this? Hmm? Well, I did say I'd help you. But if you get your heart pumping like that, I wonder if it's the right thing. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I intended to do this myself sooner or later anyway. It's a good opportunity. Besides, among all the people that are aware of my condition, you're the first one to say that to me. Normally, people would have just ignored me, as if it wasn't their business. If you weren't being considerate of my feelings, you wouldn't have been able to say that. So, thank you, Ijima-kun. I'm really happy. Oh, I'm so glad I said it. So this is how Takaki-san looks when she smiles. And also, I don't know much about the outside world. I wasn't sure of the first thing I should do. I'm glad I have someone to help me with it. Of course I'll help. If you have anything you want to do, just tell me, Takaki-san. Just call me Hatsu. Oh, yeah. I don't know your first name, Ijima-kun. Hmm? Oh, it's Hato. Ijima Hato. Pigeon? <laughs> so that's why they call you Papa-kun. Um, I'll call you that too, okay? So she knew my nickname. And that's how our summer holiday started. We experienced lots of exciting heart-beating moments. We did everything we could think of. Oh, we're going up, Papa-kun. Yeah, Takaki-san. Uh, look, we're almost at the summit. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is bad. It feels like my lifespan is shortening. It feels like my lifespan is shortening. Don't say it so lightly with a happy face like that. Uh, it's coming. Yeah! Oh. What's this? It's so fun! Let's go one more time, Popokun. Huh? The first thing that surprised me when I spent time with Takaki-san is that her personality is so different from her appearance. Come on, come on! Her image in school is that of the silent and gloomy person. But in reality... She loves to talk and move around. She can tell a joke, and she can humor others. Oh, her reactions are so pure, too. Huh? You haven't had ice cream before? Yeah, it's said it's not good to cool my body. They told me that when I was a kid. Try it. <laughs> Your saliva is splattering me! And just like that, her normal image went straight out the window. The only one who knows this side of her is me. Mm? It makes me slightly happy. It can't be helped. Well, well, Each and every day. Uh, uh, no. We had so much fun together. I had so much fun today. The sea was nice, and so was the indoor pool. I want to go again. That's fine and all, but hold on tight, because it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Is this okay, Popokun? Ah, they're touching my back. What's this superb bliss I'm feeling right now? Am I going to die tomorrow? A healthy person's lifespan won't decrease even when they do vigorous exercise or movements. Even though we perform strenuous activities every day, it's usually only for a short period. To balance it out, our heart rate slows down when we sleep, but it's different for her. It's hard to bring her heart rate down once it increases. Engaging in such activities will shorten her lifespan. Oh yeah. We've been fooling around every day. Don't your parents say anything about it? Uh, that's fine. I explained to them the situation and they understood. They told me to do as I please. 
right now, I'm really happy. Though, I feel a little sad. I see. Tagaki-san, um... Don't say it. Don't say any more. Please. Am I an idiot? Oh, I should have known better. Are you misunderstanding something, Takaki-san? Tomorrow, there's a huge fireworks display in the neighboring town. You're coming, right? Hmm? Don't tell me you're holding back on me now, are you? <laughs> you're too naive, Takaki-san. Summer has only just begun. Yeah. I'll come. That's how it should be. Thank you, Popokun. Oh yeah, Tageki-san. What's that thing on your head? Eh? That's a pick, right? Don't tell me you play the guitar. Um, uh, just a little when I was young. I dreamt of becoming an artist. This is the first thing I ever bought for myself. I used to compose songs, write poems, and practice singing. But I've given up now. Huh? Why? Oh, it's such a waste. You were even at the stage of composing songs. Yeah, but... I want to listen. No! It's not something that others should be listening to. That's the only thing I won't do. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Think about this. Isn't this a once-in-a-lifetime chance to feel excited? I understand that you feel shy, but you know, playing the songs you've composed for others is part of youth. Since you went through the whole trouble of composing songs, isn't this a once-in-a-lifetime chance to play them? Mm -hmm. Well, since you've said that much... Oh, yeah! I'm only doing this once, okay? Don't laugh, okay? I won't, I won't! <laughs> yay, yay! Then... Hey! Takaki-san? Uh, what? This is the bassist, Haikagi. The keyboardist, Kurinami. By the way, he's my childhood friend. And he's the drummer, Sudo. Our light music club isn't that famous, and the only people in the club are us four. Please, I beg of you, Takaki-san. Sing one more time in front of them! <laughs> What's this? No, never! What's going on? I don't understand where this is going. You'll know once you sing. You guys will understand too when you hear her sing. Okay? Please. Ugh, jeez. I'll sing, okay? Oh, thanks. Her voice is soothing. It's tugging at our heartstrings. It's like a charm that's drawing us closer. Awesome! It's even giving me goosebumps! You have such a beautiful voice. Did you come up with that song yourself? You think so too? Takagi-san, would you please be the vocalist for our band? But... Let's perform at the Cultural Festival in October! We actually thought of doing covers at first, but now... Oh, good idea! We never had a vocalist in the first place. And Popo's terrible at it. What? You're more than welcome to perform. Artist Tagaki Hatsu's first performance. What do you think? Want to give it a shot? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah! And so, we marched on towards the cultural festival with our practice sessions. We composed a band version of the original score. We tried practicing even though we didn't know if we'd make it. But still, we pushed on every day. I explained Takaki's situation to the rest of the members. They understood and they supported her. Because of that, Takaki-san was able to relax a little while practicing. The breeze has started to become colder. Yeah. It feels like the past few months were a dream. 
I never would have thought I'd be practicing with other band members like this. This is all because Popo-kun saw me while I was changing. I have you to thank. You probably aren't thankful for that, are you? <laughs> I am, I am. Oh yeah, lately we haven't been able to fool around like we used to. Shall we take a breather and go have some fun after the festival? <laughs> this in itself feels exciting. Uh... Hey, I'll be going first. That was probably the most exciting moment in my life. I'm so nervous. It's almost time. Calm down, Takaki-san. Uh, you're asking for the impossible. My heart has been thumping like an alarm bell for a good while now. Ah, uh, such a waste of a lifespan. Why don't you get some fresh air at the veranda? You still have some time. Um, I'll do that. Oh. You. Don't push yourself too much, Popo. Ah, uh, I'll be fine. Uh, the wind's pretty strong. Ah, uh, no! Popocoon! Popocoon! Hmm? Ah, uh, you lost your pick. Y yeah, I don't know where it blew off to. What should I do? It's an important pick to me. I was planning to use it during the performance as a good luck charm. Hmm. But it's almost time to prep. I'll lend you a different pick for today, so... But... Alright, I'll search for it. <laughs> hey, Popo! Don't worry! I have the least important role today. I'll definitely find it, so go ahead and prepare, Takaki-san. Okay. So it was blown into the bushes behind the school building. Okay! Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Takagi-san, it seems he found your pick. Eh? Really? Here. Popo wants me to pass it to you. Wow! Thank you so much! I'm so relieved. I thought I wouldn't have been able to get it back again. Hmm? Where's Popo-kun? He won't be coming. Eh? What do you mean? Did he go to the toilet? It's almost time. He... won't be on stage. You should know this. He... Popokun! Takaki-san? Why do you look so pale? <sighs> Why? I see. So he told you, huh? I have about 15 minutes left. When my parents found out that I had a disease, they asked for help from all of our relatives to attach this expensive device on me. They told me to use the remaining time I had however I wanted, but they weren't happy about it. Why? If I told you, you'd have helped yourself back then, right? I was surprised when I heard you had the same disease as me. You even told me how you felt. I also thought the same thing. If I were to die, I'd like to live my life full of excitement before I die. I dyed my hair and joined the light music club when I entered high school. That's why I want to cheer you on with all my heart. Because of you, I've had so much fun in my life. Thank you, <laughs> Takaki-san. I actually wanted to join you. But I was running about here and there. Sorry, I can't stand on stage with you. Idiot. I 
will be with you. I'll be beside you, popo -kun. What are you saying? We put so much effort in today. I will be listening from here. Isn't it exciting to sing in front of a crowd? That's why. Let me hear your singing. The next program for today is the Light Music Club. Are you done? I see. Then let's go. Huh? Was there a girl in that Light Music Club? Isn't that Takagi's son from second year? Takagi? It doesn't seem like her. beautiful voice. Oh, I should have kissed her. I'm such an idiot. I, Ijimahato, left this world at the age of 17. The image I left behind was that of an idiot. Afterwards, Takaki Hatsu graduated from high school and debuted as a songwriter. Her voice became a hot topic in society, and she became well known overnight. She announced her illness to everyone, and she sang songs that would give courage to others. She kept singing for the next few years with all of her heart and soul. About 40,000 people came to her last live concert. Finally, her parents took care of her until her last breath. Takaki Hatsu died at the age of 21. Her last dying phase is of one who was satisfied. <laughs>